Hey, what's up? Ben here from blogwithbin.com. And in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to update the version of PHP your WordPress site is using. Now, if you're here, chances are you saw this notice in your WordPress dashboard. Well, no worries, this video is not only gonna show you how to update your version of PHP, but also get rid of this warning as well. And if you're totally new to PHP, just think of it as coding language WordPress is built on. And the version of PHP that your site is running on is set by your web hosting company, so that's why you have to update it yourself. And I know that you're familiar with updating all the other aspects of your WordPress site, like your themes and your plugins, but your PHP will need to be updated over time as well. And the two main benefits of updating your version of PHP is that your WordPress blog will be faster and more secure. So updating it will have a positive effect on your site's performance. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the main reason I made this tutorial was because WordPress started issuing this warning within the dashboard, letting you know that a PHP update is required. It looks kind of scary at first, but trust me, it's super simple to fix once you know what to do. Now I should point out that in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to update your version of PHP through your cPanel. However, I'm using Bluehost web hosting. So if you're using a different web host, the steps outlined in this video may look a little different, but regardless of your web host, you should still be able to follow along and update your version of PHP pretty easily. But as always, if you run into any issues at all, feel free to reach out in the comments below the video and I'd be more than happy to help you out. All right, so before we do anything, I highly recommend that you download, install, and activate the PHP Compatibility Checker plugin. And I'll put a link to this plugin in the show notes below the video, but this free plugin checks the compatibility of your site and your plugins against new versions of PHP. We'll also report any issues, if there are any, and show you what needs to be fixed before updating your version of PHP. Okay, so after you've installed and activated the PHP compatibility plugin, you can access it in your WordPress dashboard by hovering your mouse over Tools, and then click on PHP compatibility. And this brings you to the scanning options, and it's pretty straightforward. You can set the version of PHP that you wanna check the compatibility of, and we're checking 7.3, so make sure that's selected. Then the plugin theme status lets you choose between scanning all the plugins and themes or only active plugins and themes. And for this video, I'm gonna be scanning just the active plugins and themes. And then don't mind the scan results below. This was from an earlier scan I did when testing the plugin before I shot this tutorial. So ignore that and let's start our scan. So select what you wanna scan and click the scan the site button. and then the plugin goes to work. Now, it will take a few seconds, but you should see a status bar as the plugin starts checking the compatibility of your site. And depending on how many plugins you have and what kind of theme you're running, it will take a few minutes for the scan to complete. So just a heads up on that. Now, I'm gonna fast forward to the end of the scan for the sake of time, but if you're following along step-by-step, step, feel free to pause the video right now while your scan completes. Okay, so when your scan is finished, the plugin will report the results for PHP 7.3 compatibility below there on the same screen, and then you can review and see what needs your attention. Now, the green check marks with compatible next to them are obviously good to go, and you don't need to worry about those. And then make sure you don't have any that are marked not compatible, which we don't, and that's good, but we do have some that are marked as unknown. This is usually due to the plugin or theme being skipped during the scan because it was too large to scan before the server killed the process. So if that's the case, then you may have to do a quick Google search to make sure that the plugin or theme is compatible with the version of PHP you're wanting to update to. And I know it's not a perfect science, but one thing I can say is that if your plugin is regularly updated by its developers and is a popular and well-known plugin, the chances are it's gonna be compatible with the most recent version of PHP. However, it never hurts to double check. For example, the Yoast SEO plugin, a very well-known and popular plugin, came back as unknown on our scan report. However, whenever we visit the Yoast website and view their plugin requirements page, you can see that they actually recommend the PHP version 7.3 or above. So we're good to go there. Next, the WP Forms plugin came back as unknown in our report, but after a little detective work, we can see that WP Forms also recommends having PHP 7.3 or greater, so we're good there as well. And the list goes on. The Jetpack plugin is also compatible with PHP 7.3 as verified by one of the plugin's developers. 
So chances are that if your scan says unknown, you're probably okay. But I highly recommend doing a quick Google search of the plugins that came back as unknown just to make sure. Okay, so after you've run the compatibility scan and reviewed all the plugins and themes for their compatibility with PHP 7.3, it's time to update. Now, like I previously mentioned a little earlier in the video, I'm using Bluehost web hosting. However, if you're using a different web host, the steps to update will be somewhat different, but you can still follow along and update your PHP. All right, so I'm gonna go back to Bluehost right now and access my cPanel. And again, if you're using a different web host, go ahead and take the necessary steps to access your cPanel. And then if you are using Bluehost, if you're back at the Bluehost dashboard, click on the Advanced tab to access your cPanel. And then what you're looking at right now is the cPanel, commonly referred to as the Control Panel. And this serves as the command center where you can access your accounts, manage your domains, install scripts and applications, back up your site, and much, much more. However, for this tutorial, we're gonna use it to access the Multi-PHP Manager. And if you're brand new to all this, the Multi-PHP Manager is a piece of software that basically allows you to easily manage your account's PHP configuration. So, we're gonna use it to update our version of PHP. And in order to do that in your cPanel, scroll down to the software section and click on the multi PHP manager icon. And then this will bring you to the back end of the software where you can set the domain that you want to apply the new version of PHP to. And you'll notice that even Bluehost is warning us <laughs> that we need to update because the PHP that we're using is going to be depreciated. And you can see here, we're currently using PHP 7.0, so we'll need to update that. So to update the version of PHP, find the domain that you want to update, check the box next to it. Then find the PHP version dropdown and select PHP 7.3 and some might be listed as EA-PHP 7.3 but just go ahead and select the one that you want to use and then click the apply button and after a few seconds you'll get a notification letting you know that the update was successful then if we go back to our WordPress blog and back at the dashboard, you'll notice that the scary PHP warning is gone, and we are now running the most up-to-date version of PHP on our site. Now, one way to stay on top of the PHP updates is to use this lightweight plugin called Version Info. And this plugin displays the current WordPress version number along with the PHP version, the web server user, and MySQL version within the footer of your WordPress dashboard. And I'll put a link to this plugin in the show notes below the video, but when we go back to our blog, if we scroll down to the bottom of the dashboard really quick, you can see that after installing and activating the version info plugin, PHP 7.3 is displaying and it ensures us that we've successfully updated our version of PHP on our WordPress blog. Nice work. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, share, and subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. As always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.